today I bring you guys a review, a product review. If you guys like technology, please stay for the video because you're gonna enjoy it. I hope. Okay, so summer's here, right? And you know, your kids, if you're a parent, your kids are in soccer. Your kids are, give me a second. Okay, your kids are in soccer, you guys. Videotape your kid playing. Whether that be little kids or a younger adult. No, teenagers, actually. I have something really nice for you guys. So, have you seen those tripods or gimbals that kind of track you while you move around and stuff? I have that today. This is from Xbox Go. It even has a stand. Look, I'm getting too, too ahead of myself. Hold on. Xbox Go. So, this kind of reminds me of the DJI um, gimbal thing. It has a very similar dial too so let me get into that real quick this is a robot tracking tripod gimbal you can either set this up like this because this is how i had it because i used it i'm going to show some clips on some of that um if you guys follow me on ig you will see that this was on my video recently so you can set it up like this or you can take this out and then you can also set this up in a tripod which is also what i had for a second and yeah disclaimer i'm not getting paid to do any of this i'm not getting paid for mentioning and i'm also not getting commission I believe what this does it tracks whoever is playing this basically to be for sports trust me i tried i tried this is very much for sports let me show you guys the box that it comes with okay xbox go ai camera man ai so this is smart ai tracking sports tracking gimbal so if you can see there is kids playing soccer whenever you go to the app there's options on who to track on what is tracking you know because you have to connect the gimbal to your phone it's like bluetooth situation magic it'll basically track who it is through your phone camera crazy to me but you can pick any sports there's soccer basketball i think there's a bunch of different sports that you can choose from to let the gimbal know what it's tracking what type of sport this child is playing or this person i find that very cool there is also this option of just alone i can't really use it to track because i don't have any kids to track that sounds very creepy i don't have any uh sports to track because we don't play sports here but i really enjoyed it for myself i didn't use any of the ai tracking technology i just used it for having my phone camera be balanced very well and no shakiness that's what a gimbal is for no shakiness and it really like aligns it's smooth smooth huh? on and it automatically like goes into the position this is going to be vertical if you don't want this vertical you can press the m and then it'll switch to um a oh, wrong one it switches to horizontal and look you see i move it i move it i move it and it's like staying in the same position yeah that's what the magic of a gimbal is for if you guys are interested in like videography or something or casual recording and you record with your phone this is really nice this is very very nice i'm gonna mention the features first and then i'm just gonna say some things that i think could be adjusted or for the future you know there's also this button dial which i actually love because you can basically manually adjust the gimbal itself and what it's tracking and you can move it like this you can move it like this up and down and i think that's so nice especially if you want a really smooth transition whenever you're recording when you're moving the camera i think this is so nice so nice it also has button and back of the camera i enjoy it i really do i used this recently for my unboxing i also used it to just record myself and i basically had it up i had it set up like this with this and the app that I use is free, so you don't have to pay any extra for the tracking feature, obviously, because why would you pay extra for the tracking feature when it's... That's the point of buying the gimbal. The app is free, and you have to download the app in order to have it working and tracking. You can live stream. Live stream via Facebook, YouTube, and more. This is luxurious. Luxurious. And it also brings its own USB-C. So you will charge this with a USB-C um, adapter, which is actually really nice because we have a lot of USB-C stuff in our house. Mm -hmm. You guys will also see me actually using it for the first time because I was actually very intrigued. I was shocked. I was shocked. It was really cool. two different mode this mode i don't know what this is horizontal vertical let me see if this works Camera. <laughs> and i showed you guys my first impressions i showed you guys how i was using it okay so now let's talk about some cons or areas of improvement this is my feedback based on my own personal opinion so if you guys hold on this is only made for iphone it only sucks if you have a camera but if you don't have a camera you literally don't care about this but it's good for people who just have their iphone because it's very convenient and nowadays the iphone has really good quality but let's say you have a camera and you want to shoot with your camera the videos you can't do that with this camera. i think really be nice if you if it also has
had an attachment for the camera. I think that would be cool, but I don't think it would work because it needs the AI tracking. But just having that opportunity to do so is really nice because sometimes you don't need to do the AI tracking. Sometimes you just need a really good gimbal. And I think this would be a really good opportunity to have it track. But also if you don't need the tracking, you can just have the gimbal on its own but it's only limited to the ai track that's why that's why you need it another thing is since whenever you start recording through the app you have to choose what sport it is and the only reason i thought that was just a con just a little bit only because it's i'm the way I'm using it and i don't play sports but this is literally targeted for people who do play sports but it'd be nice to just have just that that option of like no this is myself it's me. I'm the only person using it. I'm not playing no sports, basically. I'm also going to try tracking myself because the last time I used it, I did not track myself due to the fact that my dumbass forgot that I had a front camera and I was only using it for like back camera purposes. But I'm going to try to track myself to see how it, how it does. Actually, I can do that. I can do it right now. They also recommend you to take out your case just in case of um, overheating because it, it does overheat. <laughs> so cool. Look, look, look. So you don't need the app to, to obviously function the gimbal itself. But whenever you do want the tracking, yeah, you're going to have to go through the app. Let's record. Single mode. Yes. Start. And also uh, has the field size. So let's say you are actually like recording. You put like if it's a really large field, if it's a medium field or it's supposed to be a small field. Um, and then select an age group. Now it looks like it does not let me basically turn the camera like to me. And that is only like a, an app thing. I would highly, highly, highly recommend a way to to do so. I'm not sure if it's actually available here or not because as someone who does not play sports or if you just already have the gimbal that tracks, you would want the gimbal to also track you. So I think that'd be a really good opportunity for the app to improve. I know it has an update, so I'm gonna check how the update is. And what I like about the app itself though is the fact that it has videos, tutorial video on how to use the gimbal itself. And that's really nice. And it also has a user manual. It just knows. It just knows. It will literally let you know what is the best recommended way to use it just so you don't have like a bad experience with it. If you press twice on the M, that's so it can center. It's like go back to its center. Oh, this is called a joystick. There we go. There we go. Okay, let me try again. Yeah, I'm not sure. Interesting. It's really interesting to know that it doesn't let you basically track yourself if you really want to track yourself. Because well, let's say you do want to track yourself and you don't have anybody else to track your, track you. Not to be on the other side of the phone. Mm, unless I'm missing something, please let me know. I think that would be a really good addition. To let's say you, you are playing a game, um, but you're by yourself. You want somebody to track you. You want to track yourself. You can't because you cannot turn the camera interesting so this is xbox go again i'm not getting any commissions or anything i just really like to review tech and i love tech and if there's an opportunity for me to review tech i will take it because you never know you just never know i was actually looking for a, a gimbal because i wanted more smoother videos if i was like recording something you know if i was moving around because i have a shaky ass hand because why i drink a lot of caffeine i drink a lot of caffeine so i really like to have my um, videos very smooth it's like a good weight it doesn't feel cheap it doesn't feel so plastic or anything it feels pretty good well made that's what i like about your hand it's not gonna get tired because it's not heavy but like i said before this is tailored specifically to sports so parents out there if you play a sport or if you attend a lot of games and you like to record in the games this is a really good investment for you and that's it i will have the link in the description box for you guys so let me know what you guys thought about this ai tracking gimbal uh if you liked it and if you might think about purchasing it due to the fact that you play sports or you have kids who play sports and you would like to track stop if you would like to record the game and track your little one with this gimbal um you can also read the reviews in their app store a lot of people do have really good reviews and experiences with this gimbal and recording the action thank you for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned because we are trying to come back we're trying to come back it's like a bit of a break but we're coming back we just have a lot going on especially like in real life and career anyways bye